In this chapter, we're going to be dealing with PHP and MySQL, and the two go together like bread and butter. They work really well with each other, and they do amazing things. Uh, most of your websites that you visit every day, such as Facebook, Twitter, um, use a lot of PHP and MySQL, and probably some some larger enterprise databases as well, but um, you can build a, a site just like Facebook um, using PHP and MySQL. So what is it? MySQL is a relational database and by relational uh, you can associate certain keys, you can associate a foreign key to uh, another table or multiple tables. So let's say you have a products database table and in this table you have your product ID, name, and category. Well, we can also have a categories table and the category field in your products table can match up to the ID in the categories uh, table. So that might be a little confusing, but um, once you've been working with relational databases for a while, um, it's pretty easy. So uh, SQL stands for Structured Query Language, so it's a, pretty much its own language to deal with databases. Um, provides a multi-user access uh, to manipulate to sorry multiple databases, so you can have one user, and that one user can can have access to one or a hundred databases. Um, MySQL is part of the LAMP stack, and LAMP just stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And these four things go together very well and can do some pretty amazing things. Um, MySQL ships with no GUI tools or GUI tools, but there are many third party tools that you can use, um, like PHP MyAdmin, um, Heidi SQL. So these are graphical tools that you can use to create databases and insert info, uh, data, and whatever. Um, but by itself, MySQL only comes with a command line um, user access. All right, so MySQL is very fast and reliable, and it's very easy to use. Um, it's ideal for both small and large applications. So MySQL in any SQL database runs on queries and there's a few different types of queries. Um, mostly we use what's called CRUD and that stands for create, read, update, and delete. So when you think about data in a table or in a file, uh, there's basically four things you can do. You can create new data, you can read the data that's already there, you can update the data that's already there, and you can delete data. So in MySQL we have these actions, and these are select, insert, update, and delete. So these are used in our queries, and I have some examples here. And the first example is, it says, select first name from employees. So what it's doing is selecting, which is basically reading or fetching, um, whatever you want to call it, it's getting the first name field all right, from the employees table. So a database can have as many tables as you want. In this case we have a table that's called employees and one of those fields is first name. Now we could have first name, last name, age, you can have whatever you want, however many fields you want in however many tables you want. So that's a simple select statement. We can also use the asterisk here if we want to select all fields from the employees database. So next we have an insert query. This is going to put data into the database. So we have insert into employees, so this is the name of the table. And then what we're doing here is we're, we're telling the database which fields we want to update. In this case, it's first name, last name, and department. Then we have the values keyword, and then the values, which is Kevin, Jones, and IT. 
So this will get inserted into the database at, in the same order as this. So first name Kevin, last name Jones, department ID, IT. So that's a, a basic insert query. Next we have an update query. So this is update employees. So we want to update the employees database and then we use the set keyword and then we use the field name and the value. So we're going to set first name to Patrick, last name to Edwards, and then we want the, we want a where statement where ID equals four. Now most of the time your ID field is going to be unique. Okay, so that's usually what you want to use when you update because if you say update employees set first name Patrick where last name equals Edwards then what's what happens if you have two employees that have the same last name of Edwards this is going to update both of them um, to give them a, a first name of Patrick so you don't want that you want to use a unique field which is usually the ID field alright if so same thing with delete we're gonna say delete from employees where ID equals five so if we have delete from employees where first name equals Patrick that's gonna delete anyone named Patrick so you don't want to do that you want to use a unique field so in most case it's the primary key which is usually the ID and we'll go over this more in the next section on uh, primary keys and, and um, stuff like that so to connect to a database through PHP we basically have three different methods we have the method of just the MySQL function uh, or the API which is outdated and not not recommended um, then we have the the MySQL intelligent way which is MySQL I which is what I have here and then we have PDO which is uh, an extension stands for P PHP data objects and it's a really secure way to deal with a database and we'll be looking at pretty much all of these except for the first the MySQL um, which is very similar to the MySQL I so here we have an opening PHP tag and we're going to create a connection to a database so we want to create a variable to hold the connection which is just connect and then we want to use this function mysqli connect now the first method I was talking about this would be mysql connect and that's not that's not um, best practice that's actually deprecated we don't want to use that we want to use mysqli and then in that our parameters are going to be the, the um, host in most cases this will be local host um, but in some cases you'll have to use the domain name but most with most hosting providers you'll just use lo the word local host and the next thing we want is the username for the database and the password and then the name of the database now to check the connection we can use the mysqli connect err no function okay and then we want to input the connect variable from up here so if it doesn't if it's not connected it's going to echo out failed to connect so if you have a, a bad password or something like that and then it's just going to give us the error message which comes from here to select data in a database um, you can see from here to here is what we just went over we make a connection and we're saying if the if not connected then give us the error message so if that's all well and good to to get a query or to get some data you want to create a result variable and that's going to be equal to mysqli query this is the function we use when we want to make a query and for the first parameter you want to put the connection variable and then the second parameter will be the actual query so in this case we're saying select all from employees so we're selecting all the fields from the employees table now to sort through those because this is going to return more than one value so to sort through those we need a loop and the loop is going to be a while loop and we're going to use row okay a variable called row is equal to mysqli fetch array so this is going to fetch an array 
of the results of this query. All right, so, and we put the result as a parameter. Now, in this loop, we can then use the values like so. We can say echo row, which is this variable, which is an array, and then we can choose the value we want, such as first name, last name. So whatever fields in the database are, are accessible to us, we can use. So in this case, it's just going to print out the first name and last name, and then a BR tag, so that'll separate each name, and it'll just print out people's names. So if this, this is very simple. Um, this is probably the least complicated um, code you'll ever see to actually grab data from a database. So inserting data. So up to here, we, we're getting our connection. We're making sure there's no errors. Now what we're doing is we're saying MySQLI query. We want to put in the connect variable and then our query, much like the select statement, except this time we have an insert statement. So we're inserting into employees and we want to insert the first name, last name, and age. So in this case we're inserting Peter Griffin 35. And you'll notice the 35 doesn't have quotes because that's a number or an integer and integers don't need quotes. So now we're going to say MySQLI query I'm sorry these don't go together this is just a, this is an insert statement this is an update statement alright so to update we're gonna do what we saw in the past few slides uh, we're gonna update employees and then set we're gonna use the keyword set and we're gonna put in Patrick to first name Edwards to last name where ID is equal to four alright so remember it should be uh, in a unique value here, a unique field. PDO, which is something we're going to get into a little later, um, it's more flexible and more secure, and it allows us to use what's called prepared statements. And this protects us against something called SQL injection, um, so people can't insert values or, or just mess with our database so it's much more secure and this is just a, an example of how it works um, say we have an ID a variable of ID that's equal to 2 now what we want to do here is we're doing a try and catch block so all try catch does is it's gonna try something this could be pretty much anything and then it's gonna catch it and if there's any errors it's gonna echo out the errors okay so here in PDO to create a new connection you create a connection variable just like we did above and we're gonna say new PDO and then in that you want to put your host your database name your user your password and you can also set attributes here um, I'm not exactly sure which attributes th these are or what they do but just know that you, there's a whole bunch of attributes that you can set if needed. So then we're going to create our prepared statement. So we have this variable STMT, and it's equal to connection prepare. All right. So this C O N N, this is coming from here. That's our connection variable. So we're preparing the statement select all from employees, where ID equals ID with a colon. So this is just a placeholder right here. Um, and what we need to do is we need to bi bind a value to this placeholder. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And we do that with the, we can do that down here. So we're saying STMT execute array ID ID, all right? So the ID is coming from up here now. This is the foreign value that we want to put into our query, all right? So once that's done, once it's executed, we can create a loop just like we did here when we said while row equals MySQLI fetch array. In this case, we say while row equals statement fetch. So it's basically doing the same thing. And then you could use those row variables down here. In this case, we're just printing out the array. So that's that's a little tough to understand if you're just if this is if you're new at this. So um, 
don't really pay much attention to this right now. It's more just the basic stuff, the MySQLi um, methods and functions that you want to remember. All right, so that's it for trying to explain this stuff. Next, we'll put this stuff into motion.